Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is One Hour, One Life. Well, the long-awaited bison has been added to the game, and so I'm about to hop on and see what we can do with them, what options are available. I uh, have already looked over the crafting recipes, the link uh, to that site is down in the video description if you want to check that out and let's get on it so there are uh, uses for the knife now there always have been but the uh, the bison when they're domesticated turn into cows domestic cows and then uh, you can milk the cows the milk will separate. You can get the cream out with a bowl. Start with the skewer and it makes butter. Then you can use the knife in the butter to get a butter knife. Uh, there's bread now. So you can bake loaves of bread cut them into slices and then use the butter knife on the bread slices uh, to have buttered bread. It increases the nutrition, uh, the hunger amount by four. Oh no! Bob has been murdered. The knife has been hidden. I think everybody here is named uh, Bob, just about. Well, she has perished. I am Groot. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that was close. There's a bison. Beautiful. Majestic. Uh, the Tamu process is similar to the um, sheep in that you get a bison. Uh, the bison will have a baby and you kill the mama bison. You can use a rope to lead the baby and then you feed it uh, corn kernels like you do with wild boars. And that's what you feed to the um, domesticated cows as well. Okay, wonderful. So I guess instead of like the sheep, it's more like the uh, boar for sure. Ha <laughs> ha! 
All right, here we are in a village with some bread. We've got some sliced bread here, uh, which is pretty nice. Apparently what you do is you pick it up with your hand, uh, then you can set it on a plate individually, so it's not uh, tons of slices. Uh, that's when you butter it with the knife, and it's worth more uh, hunger value then. Yeah, uh, she's too old. Yeah, this does look like a pretty well established colony here. Yeah, uh, you can get stabbed with a butter knife, so it's still uh, deadly if it has butter on it, be aware. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think she was about to kill him. <laughs> So our uh, mother has a knife that's encouraging. This must be the nursery here. Oh, she is tending to both of us. That's pretty nice. Eli, my first cousin. Stavros. <laughs> it kind of makes me think that they tried to name him Starvation or something. <laughs> Yeah, so making bread is pretty easy. Uh, you just make dough like you normally would for pies or uh, tortillas. And then you just let it sit there for about a minute or so. And um, the dough will rise. Um, I can't remember... I can't remember what it says when you mouse over it. Uh, but yeah, after the dough rises, then uh, you can bake it. Oh yeah, we got a fruit boots also, so that's pretty epic. Uh, we do have the bowl of butter here, and so if we take this... Wait a second. Okay, this is a uh, bread slice on clay plate, right? That's what we want. And then we can... Um, let's see. We can throw that berry down. We can throw this berry down. How many... Oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not old enough to use the knife, as a matter of fact. I knew that uh, when she gave it to me, but it just didn't continue to process there. Okay, so we've got raw mutton, we've got pies, we've got a slice of bread in this basket. That's ridiculous. That's a total waste of a uh, basket. There we go. Let's get this person out of here. I'm not sure where the graveyard is. This looks like it, though. Wow. This berry farm is in shambles. A lot of these have been dirted, but not watered. Um, let's see. Not noticing any bulls around either. Okay. So we may have to do a clay run, try to come back with a bunch of clay. 
and some bulls. There we've got the uh, domestic bison with the dead calves here. It's pretty good. Here's a bull. Wow. I don't know if I want to go in that pen right now. There. Let's eat a food first. Because if I got in here and wasn't able to click on things, it would have been a mess. Man, they've got all kinds of animals here. It's wonderful. Let's see, that's skim milk. This is a bucket of milk. Um, do we have a bucket of water anywhere? I wonder. Is that why they haven't been tended to? Because we don't have any water? Probably. Uh, you can drink this stuff. Partial bucket of milk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with this bowl, as a matter of fact, I could uh, come down here and drink this. The uh, regular milk refills a lot more hunger than the skim milk does. I don't know that it's uh, twice as much, but it is a significant amount. Okay, we've gotten that tended to then. Uh, here's here's the wells that I passed earlier on my way over here. We just need to empty out a bucket so that we can uh, get the water out, because these are all deep wells, aren't they? It appears so, yes. This one up here is a deep well. Okay, so we need to have a bucket in order to get the water out of there. Let's see. Are there any butt logs around that we could use? Uh, you can eat the bread plain. Just slice bread without the butter. So you don't have to have a knife for butter to be um, feasible, viable. Uh, it just it gives you more hunger value if it has butter on it. Okay, so let's see. Is there a butt log around? Yes. Here is one. Let's get this turned into boards. And do we put the disc on it like that? Yeah. And we need rope now. Um, that's going to be a more difficult one to find, I imagine. Let's try and bank some temperature here. Okay, here is corn up here. More graves. There's a shallow well. Since that's the case, it's going to be a little extra running. But we can do the business here. Okay, running around with butter knife is not ideal. It's very dangerous. Try to avoid that guy if we can. Okay, we haven't been around the uh, lower areas here, besides going inside the pen there, which is fine. Here's the wheat farm. It's pretty extensive, that's good. Uh, I think since that is the case, I will demonstrate making uh, breads, at least the dough and all that kind of stuff. 
Okay, we can see here, leavened dough on a clay plate, right? So you just get the wheat like you used to. Grind it up like that, and then you get uh, some water. Which is way up here now, because we don't have a bucket. I really need to find a string farm. Here's seeds for milkweed. Um, I may just have to start a milkweed farm. So that we have some... Uh, here's the bowl of leavened dough though, right here, right? You just take the bowl of leavened dough and you put it onto a plate. That gives you the leavened dough on clay plate. And then you can just bake it on a hot adobe oven. And that will give you the the loaf of bread, the whole loaf. Uh, none of these are whole loaves anymore. That's okay though. Let's eat this uh, buttered bread, because we can. Nice. And there isn't any more butter around. So maybe we could try to look into that. Uh, the way you get butter is you milk a cow, right? And you leave the milk in the bucket. Um, man, we still need more buckets. So I think, I think rope is going to be important. So let's get that going. Okay, magical. Exactly what we needed. Okay, that's not what we needed. Uh, let's see. I wonder if there is um, compost cooking up anywhere. I know that the sheep are inside here. But I do not see... I do not see any compost. That should be a pretty comfortable spot. crazy there. Interesting how I'm not dead right now. Let's see if we can find that uh, jerk. So that can happen.
Interesting. Okay, well, we got to see some of the new content. Um, I hope it was satisfactory. And if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.